YouTube, we're back. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? I'm your host, Justin Shepard. Here today, we have a special episode of Talent to Once. I normally say every episode is special. This is a special episode of Talent to Once. First of all, we, we are in an art gallery, man. You see the art in the background. Y'all probably can see, but you see the table. <laughs> all nice and sturdy and whatnot. And then we have not the one beyond. Sophieology, ladies and gentlemen. Hey guys, welcome back to his channel. <laughs> and so today, if you don't know about Sophieology, Sophieology is an influencer, uh, I would say YouTube genius. I would say beauty influencer for all my ladies out there. You got all these things wrapped up into one person. There you go. Oh, thank you. No problem. So my first question to you, we're going to get right into it, is what made you get into the YouTube game? Okay, so when I started, it wasn't game. <laughs> uh, it, was really, it was really me only out here. Um, well, when I started my YouTube channel, YouTube wasn't as diverse as it is today. Like, it's always been a limitless browser where you can find a video for anything. But at the time, regarding the beauty community, like, you could count how many black YouTubers there were. Anything I would search, I would have to add, like, black or person of color to find what I was looking for because there were just pages and pages of people who didn't look like me, who couldn't help me, and what I couldn't relate to. Thankfully, um, I'm self-taught. Hair, makeup, the whole nine. Since high school, I've been really passionate about it. But then I thought to myself, like, why am I waiting for someone to make the videos that I'm looking for when I can be that person? So my primary inspiration was to make videos that I had trouble finding, uh, tutorials for people that could relate to me and could benefit from them. But today, like YouTube is so diverse, mm -hmm. so many people of color, and you can literally find anything that you're looking for. So I'm grateful that I started at the time that I did because it helped me stand out and it kept me inspired to create. Come on, Trinset. Um, <laughs> thank you. Come on. And so, with, the, with that being said, if you don't know about Sophie's channel, you need to get to know about her channel. So when you get, get to know about her channel, you need to watch her channel. When you watch her channel, you need to subscribe. <laughs> all the one twos and Everything. threes. Do all that. And so, with your channel constantly growing and everything, especially views, I noticed on some like your videos, especially, I saw that, I saw that M, you know, from a million. On some of those views, you know, my question is, how did it feel when you got your first million um, views on a, on a video? My first million? Um, it was surprising. Like, I was really expecting it to come way later, like, after I put in some work. I wouldn't even say I didn't put in any work. I put in a lot of work from jump. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like every video I was posting, I was really trying my best, but I didn't expect a million. I literally woke up one morning and saw that end, and I was like, what? Like, I was, I, it just... I think it inspired me to like be more confident in myself because I did not see myself hitting a million anytime soon. So when it happened, I just was like pushed to start collecting more millions. It made me believe in myself basically that I was worth a million views. That's good. So forth is the <laughs> And that's it. And that really goes into my next question. I like to put two and twos together. And so now I'm about to ask you a question I asked everybody. And so, you have a, a constant growing fan base that I would see. You have a following. You've had people blowing my follower right now. Just off of a gift, like off of not a gift. Of You're making me shy on camera, go ahead. And so, I, what I ask everybody in, the, in their own versions is which one, I guess to you right now, is do you not prefer, but which one stands out more to you? like a destination, like, oh, I'm trying to get somewhere. So it doesn't matter how I'm gonna get there, but I just want to get to this point. Or do you care about the journey? It's like, I like to acknowledge all these moments and stepping stones. So destination or the journey? Okay. Ooh, um, I'm definitely gonna say the journey. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to sound morbid or nothing, like creepy or nothing, but mm -hmm. You never know if you're going to reach your destination. Like, life is so short. And you never want to live an expectation for the end. Like, the finale. Like, 
I live every day like it's a finale because we are blessed each time we wake up and we have the chance to chase our goals and our dreams. Like there's gonna be days that are hard or like the journey's gonna be hard. It's gonna be easy at times, good or bad, but I think it's just best to respect wherever you're currently at because that is your current destination. Instead of looking forward to be somewhere else, just enjoy the journey because it's really building you into the person you're supposed to be. And snap, snap, just like Aww. that. Drop, drop a little gem on. And one thing I do notice, I'm a big person within faith, you know? Yeah. And so one thing I did notice about that, you live, you know, you live, you kind of like a day by day, except for now, type of thing. And so one thing I do notice about your videos is you start every video off the scripture. You get. Um, was that just a thing off of like some uh, inspiration or was it just like, you know what, this is how I feel today, so I'm going to put that in the Okay, well, um, it, for those of you who don't watch my videos, I do include a Bible okay. verse. <laughs> I do include a Bible verse in the beginning of every video. And it's just my way of thanking God for like making things possible. Um, I've always felt like I wasn't qualified to be doing what I do or to be where I'm at, like made it this as far as I have. So uh, each time I post, especially like as I've grown, it's become more meaningful to me to add those Bible verses just to give God thanks for how far I've come and making the video possible. You got to because without Him, and you know, you gotta preach, boy. A little, but I have it all. Preach, come on. Oh, I'm trying to <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to hit that come forward. <laughs> and so I feel like me personally, I can agree with that too. It's like, you know, without him and what, you know, without whoever you believe in, with the God, Allah, you know, a higher being that you believe in. Yeah. You know. And my videos don't even like be about religion or Christianity, but you know, that's one thing I'm trying to show for it, like as being like young and a Christian, like just because you're a child of God or you're a Christian, it, your identity in Christ is your identity. It is who you are. You don't really have to like form a certain uh, persona or act a certain way to come up a certain way. True. People will be like, oh, you're a Christian YouTuber, but you don't talk about God on your channel. Well, I don't really have to. I can just do my makeup, do my hair, mm -hmm. but also just uh, acknowledge that, you know, he is my reason yeah. for the season. He's fair. Yeah. I definitely understand. And so it is right now, August, eighth month of the eighth month of the year. I was about to miss up on the seventh. I was about to get trolled. I was about to get trolled if I said the seventh month of the year. It is the eighth month. It's the eighth month. You know, the year is over halfway done, but what can we expect from sociology? the rest of 2019 and maybe a little bit into 2020. Okay, um, well, I'm definitely working on being more consistent. My subscribers know like I post once a year. <laughs> That's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Um, but I'm definitely working on being more consistent. I have some products coming up that I can't really discuss, okay. but I'm excited for those. And I just can't wait to see where my channel goes. I hope I hit a million like in 2020, but um, I'm really um, grateful for how far I've come this year, so we'll see. You will. You will. Thank you. He's Look. so nice. You're so Thank you. Okay. I tried to. People will be like, oh, this chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and last but not least, you know, for those who don't know about your channel, please let them know. Shout out to your social medias and let them do, do your little thing. I'm going to give you the floor. Do your thing. I'm leaning back like this. <laughs> okay, so once again, my name is Sophiology, kind of like biology, but my name is Sophia, so Sophiology. You can subscribe to my channel for hair, makeup, good times, laughs, kick it with the kid. You can follow me on Instagram at Sophiology Official and Twitter at Sophia's Choice. And you'll leave it all in the description. And I'm back. So let me kick in my social media now. Follow me at King underscore J Shep on Twitter and IG. And on ta at, for Talented Ones, Talented underscore Ones on Twitter and underscore Talented Ones underscore on IG. I finally have got that right when I started. <laughs> so many ad names. And I do follow back. Do you? Kind of. 
kind of. Mm. But it's okay. <laughs> it's all good. And so, what I will say is thank you for coming to talk to me on the show. Course. We have this beautiful venue. And the masterpiece. And there you go. So from this camera, from us, from art, we're out. Thank you.